Guys, I used to be a rapper, so yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Precious, aka Official Girl. Yeah, I talk like. So I'm gonna throw it back a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it back to. I think it was my 22nd birthday. Yeah, I think it was my 22nd birthday. So in England, right? You know, I'm a foreigner, obviously. Like, it's unlike home. If you're at home and you're having a birthday, you can just like. Tell everyone, guys, let's link up, whatever, whatever. But in England, you have to think about it. You have to invite people in advance. You need to look for accommodation for them. Okay, even though if six of us slept on one bed, who are a bunch of us, like, Tangatawanda, who are squad. And then Tawanda out, Tawanda bow, man, it was time to go to bow. Yeah, so we went out, we're looking so fine, like, I don't know, I'll try and send some pictures if I still have any of us who are still looking good. But yeah, we're looking fine, turn down club much. So I'm a club, I'm going to go to the pillow, 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 i am going to go to the pillow 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 i am going to go to the Tonga Ruana Mom Shika Shika La Au Pinde Like you know I don't pin that deal But I've been in the bedroom We are So Guys We got in and we were living our best life So obviously we got a table because it was A big event It was my birthday Guys I was gonna get lit I was gonna Do the most Yeah 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 We got a table And then Yeah Two nights ago you know, two Nikes go, but that's such a dog. Well, like, I actually don't get drunk. Like, I don't drink, so yeah. <sniffs> These three girls decide to come on to our table and put their jackets on our table. So, mind you, this is a club. Every club in this city, the UK, has a clock room. A clock room. I don't know if it's called a clock room or cot room, but I think it's a clock room. A clock room is basically a place where you go put your juicy. Because obviously it's cold, right? So can you go pay a pound or two, you put your juicy in there, can do service, yeah, we only provide us call no no bad arrangement. So um yeah these two girls these three girls, two black girls and one Mixed race girl. They decide to come and put their you know, ba, 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 table here. So mind you, I have no problem with this, but it's the way they did it, right? So like, um, we're dancing and stuff, and then wanna jacket and I'm like, why is my jacket on the floor? And then my friend was like, cause these two girls, these three girls, just came and pushed. They had the audacity, like Vakanya so Vakanya so take a Vakanya so gaze on Baba or take a hymn to win our back room. Can you say some makeup for a jelly up for Zrabo to come and push our jackets onto the floor? Like, guys, I've got harsher problems. Really, nigga? If anyone has a brain, they'll actually be pissed off at this point. So first of all, you just can't come off. Like there was so much space on the table, you could have just said, "Guys, can I put my jacket?" Or why not just put your jacket on top of our jackets? Why do you have to put ours on the floor? <clears throat> Obviously, Miss Precious goes to ask, like, "Why did you put our jackets on the floor?" And then the girl goes, "It's a public club, so I can put my jacket wherever I want to put it." What's your criticism, my Taura? Because I think to kangani sa kunzuki zana banab. Because I think I'm Zuzi or Mugta and official girl banab. Mundu the Jacada or Chimbuzo Kredzaitins with Jamatora. Tins with it. It's a public club, so I can put my jacket wherever I want to put it. Then I was like, <laughs> first of all, the clock room is a public clock room, so your jacket deserves to be in the clock room, not on the table. 
And the second of all, I'll be right back. And then I went to call my squad. Obviously, I'm not about to attack people and didn't they, Gaga. Like, I went to call my friend. I've got this friend. <laughs> Um, MVP, my friend from Kenya. So I was this friend, her name is Terry, yeah. So I went to call her and I was like, dude, this is what these girls just did. I went to get up her floor, right? Like, what should we do? Well, then, yeah, yeah. And then Terry now goes to the girls and she was like, I don't know exactly what was used, but I guess she asked them, Kuti. Kuti, why did you put our clothes on there? And then she told him the same response. Kuti, oh, this is a public club, so I can put my coat wherever I want to. They're like, no, you can't put your clock wherever you want to. The reason we got a table is because we didn't want people on our table, first of all. We wanted private space. If we wanted public space, we would have been there with you. But no, we wanted our own private space. Like, that's the definition of a table. Like, were you born under a rock? Like, where are you coming from? Like, you stay from Africa, mate. Like, can you tell me what's going on? <laughs> Guys. This girl gives her the same response, and Terry, guys, <laughs> okay, she's got harsher, like, she definitely has more harsher than me. So she decides, so they were arguing back and forth, obviously, and then Terry was holding a, uh, a glass of alcohol, I don't know what she was drinking, glass of wine or whatever, and then she poured the, the what's it called, the drink to this girl's face, and then the girl, like, oh, I'm not poked her face, here I came. This girl... Oh, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna get that corona alcohol, the ice. You know the ice bucket thing. The girls, not the the girl we're fighting with. One of the girls, they've got the audacity. She picked up the ice bucket, guys. <laughs> guys, and while in it is cold, right? Obviously, the clubs are cold. But she picked up this ice bucket, guys. Take a baba tis gonna embura. A baba tis gonna embura. A baba tis gonna embura. Guys, she. <laughs> Guys, she threw the ice bucket at all of us, like she... <laughs> Guys, when we got bubble, she's <laughs> Think about it now, guys, it's hilarious, but trust me, at the time, guys, it was not funny. Like, we were baptized with water to come bubble. <laughs> so now it's ice, and it was like... Well, the club for a while, so obviously, you know, it's ice and water mixed, and there was alcohol, guys were just drenched in water. And then, so obviously, the water was a lot as compared to the glass at Terry Paul. Obviously, she's the one who instigated it, but still, they were in the wrong in the first place. So, I, ah, by the time we itemized to open our eyes to see Kuti go where, because there were three of them, guys, and were like 10 of us, right? First of all. So, by the time we now open our eyes to see, Guys, like time, like what's happening? The girls have dipped. So uh, they baptized us and then they dipped. So now we're now looking where they were, they were, they were, the girls are gone. And then someone was like, they went outside, they ran outside. And then we went outside, then we were by the door. And then we started like, you know, and they were wooing us. Like it was back and forth, like, come back and whatever. And they were like, come outside, catch me outside, catch me. And then the bouncers were like, if you guys leave, you're not coming back in. And oh, yes, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna ruin my breath at night because of some girls. So, to be honest, I feel like we should have met them outside, like, we should have met them outside. But yeah, we didn't go outside, but we were drenched by the end of the night, so we actually didn't stay for long, we ended up going home. But guys, Shaka Zangu says there's no clear Makuti, they can fight, guys, they will know it to be found. I was girls, just... car. <laughs> those girls, whenever I catch them, it was crazy, and then everyone else went back home. So Terry and I are the only ones who stay in Leeds. So now, for a while, we were actually terrified. Whenever we saw black girls, because we always thought, because she, what if, what if those are the girls, and what if they come and they attack us now, now that we are um, um, two, what if they come? So I remember each time we'd see a black girl, we'd be like, oh, it's them, it's them. And then, yeah, after some time, we got over it. Don't put your, your, your coat on someone's table unless you ask. Like, there's nothing wrong with asking, because no one is ever going to say no. But kind of, oh, she told me, see, even though we were the ones who got drenched in the end, but like, I just feel like they were in the wrong, like if, I, if we were in the wrong, let me know, comment below and let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching 
the story let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to hear more story times from me because i love telling stories and i've got a lot of juicy stories to tell guys i've been through a lot anyways thanks guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram instagram instagram